Hi, I'm Dan Sinelli from Perkins Eastman, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about where I think assisted living is going in the future. And in about three minutes, I'm going to tell you where it's going, and one of those things is called a rehab hotel. Um, so, but, but first, let me uh, start with why it was assisted living created. Assisted living was created because you know, someone basically told someone in congregate living you couldn't stay here anymore and you had to go to the nursing home. And what was the nursing home back then? The big house. A lot of people didn't like it at all, right? So again, what did skill care look like when they finally got there? Well, it was 65 care beds, it was 85% semi-private rooms, meals on a 30-day cycle, long hallways, the nursing station. You all remember those times, right, in terms of what nursing homes used to look like? So how fast did assisted living growth? So again, when it started in 1982, and then it kept growing and growing, and then it stopped, and it grew again, the red is the for-profit groups. The blue is the not-for-profits in terms of what they were able to do in the last number of years. Who built it? Everybody and their brother, right? Urban projects, suburban projects, uh, atrium-type projects, rural projects. A lot of a different assisted living was built during that time. Then you look at it in terms of was this a monolithic population, you know, in terms of what did, the, what did the sponsors think about when these people were looking at? The big buzzword back then, back in 86, was, ready? Assistance with daily living. Everyone thought that when people were initially moving in, all they really needed is to be able to maybe get some help dressing. But look at the number of chronic conditions these folks walk in and with assisted living. Two to three, fifty percent have two to three more chronic conditions than just uh, what they think they have. Six, so a lot of different things. So again, then what happens? So we built all this assisted living and then what happens? Everyone wants to be able to stay in their own home, right? Even independent living, they're now having duly certified as AL, right? So people want to stay in their home. And again, why did they move out to begin with or why was assisted living created? Because of the bad nursing homes. But look what's going on in the nursing home world, right? Greenhouses, small houses, pioneer movements. There's less resistance to move into a home-like environment than moving into that. And again, when you look at the next five to 10 years, the biggest chunk of users of assisted living is gonna be in memory support, right? It's a, it's a natural piece. The real issue is what's that question mark? What's 25% of those units gonna look like? Are we going to have to recycle them in terms of accountable health care bridge housing? This is my favorite. Somebody said, why don't you convert them into student dormitories? Wouldn't that be lovely? Affordable apartments. So again, what do you sort of look at that? So what I said is look to the rehab market as a clue for what should be happening with assisted living. The rehab market is going to continue to be a huge market. $20 billion, 20,000 units of people doing that stuff. The big picture here, folks, in a, where assisted living could be going for you is to treat that rehab resident patient as a customer for life. So again, wherever they live, you need to be able to work with them. So let's look at what normally happens under the rehab market. Someone goes from home to the hospital, they come back into your place as a med A rehab person. They go back home. Guess how many people, when they go back home, figure out they can't really be home. They need to have another alternative. So again, the whole idea is to be able to look at short-term rehab, home health, then look at assisted living being a rehab hotel. Can the rehab hotel be a cheaper alternative than long-term care? And again, when you look at that's the percent of that pie chart is the residents going home after Med A. That little, the white part is the group that really can't go home. So what can you do? Create an AL hotel model and tie it to your rehab program. Once they get there, so let's say you say, listen, you don't have to move in here for the rest of your life. Maybe you only need five months of us. And you then have a great hospitality experience for when that person comes back in, they're tied next to your rehab program, they're using Med B rehab. Um, what this allows you to be able to do is, gets you to sharpen your hospitality skills in that AL hotel world. It gets you to connect with the 85% who never will move into your CCRC. This is a good exposure for you. 
If you're thinking about that maybe you don't have that hospitality piece, look as a partner to be able to get a dining partner or create that Center for Healthy Living that helps that rehab assisted living hotel person. Assisted Living Rehab Hotel connects you with 85% of the population that won't move, that, move in. And it allows them hopefully to get back home and be a customer for life. I'm Dan Sinelli and I'm with Perkins Eastman. Thanks for listening.